Well, I'm the first Chief Resilience Officer for the City of Minneapolis, which I'm really excited about being here and in this role. Meet Kate Knuth, Minneapolis' new CRO. It's a thing. So as a Chief Resilience Officer, the idea is to build resilience, but what does that actually mean? So we're looking at what are some of the big stresses that the city is facing over time, things like inequity and increasing housing costs, and then also thing, big shocks like an infrastructure failure or a big storm like North Minneapolis saw a few years ago with a tornado, and making sure the city is prepared to navigate these things. That sounds like a big job. It's a big job, yeah. And it's not just my job. So I, I, my job I see as a coordinating role and as a leadership role. I see myself as facilitating conversations and process and connections and, and helping articulate vision along the way, but I'm not coming in and saying this is what we need to do and this is how we're going to do it. That's not going to build the, the kind of capacity and connections that the city needs to really be resilient. You need to listen. Yep. Listening is really important in this work and in leadership generally. Now, before you start to think this is some sort of new agey, touchy, feely, nebulous idea, it's not just us. There are 23 cities in the U.S. taking part and more around the world. My position in this work is being funded by 100 Resilient Cities, which is pioneered by the Rockefeller Foundation. And 100 Resilient Cities, like the name, is there's 100 cities around the world who've gotten to be part of this network. And it's really learning from each other as chief resilience officers how to build the practice of resilience in cities. And each city is unique, but we face common challenges. For taxpayers who are sitting at home going, I don't want my <laughs> money paying for this, yeah. it's not. It's not, yeah, this is grant funded work. There are going to be people who will be naysayers. What do you, ha what do you say to them? I think we have a lot of the tools, but we haven't necessarily had a person whose job it was to take a step back and do some of that really future thinking planning and looking out 10 or 20 or 50 years um, and say, what's gonna happen in our city and how can we best prepare to handle it? And so I think it's really exciting to have someone whose job it is to be doing that and to be connecting with all the people in, in the city government and more broadly in the community who are interested in being better prepared for and um, better responsive to the, the big changes we have happening. So Kate's been in the job literally about two weeks, so she barely even has her badge to get <laughs> in the building yet. So not a whole lot going on at this point, but she is developing those relationships and she is going to be getting the community involved in the future. So if you're wondering how you can do your part or how you can get involved, there will be opportunities for that in the future once they have more concrete ideas about what they're gonna be doing. Kate Knuth, of course, uh, coming from the U of M where she ran a leadership development program and she also was a former lawmaker, so you probably right. know her I from those days. In the legislature, she was Kate Knuth and she was always a very, uh, oriented toward the environment. She really liked uh, doing stuff about making things greener, things like that. So. And climate change is going to be a big yeah. role for her here. So we'll, we'll have to see how this goes. It's a two-year program, and we don't know what's going to happen after yeah. that. So well, we'll there you see. go. All That's right. good.